Hi guys, it's Mike and Matt here from Final Four yeah. Freaks. Um, obviously you've cut this video, I'm wondering why it is. We are talking about leaders. some leaders that we uh, used to use a lot, uh, or still do. I still do. Um, what, basically what are like top three, three is like our favourites. Of, of each colour? Yeah, I, I, obviously it's our personal opinion. Yeah. Obviously mine are going to be different, that's going to be different. Gonna be different. We might oh, have, yeah. might have some, that the same. some of the same. Might not. You don't know. Um, yeah. If you would like to see more videos on these guys and uh, see like the different colours, uh, please let us know. If you want to see other people in it, uh, let us know who you'd like to see in the videos. And yeah, we've got a few. Yeah, we've got a few. Yeah, we've got a few, few. members. Um, so we'll try and delve straight into it. So shall we do the? Should we do red or blue? Blue? Blue. We'll do yeah, blue. Blue first, yeah. So, um, I tell, I'll tell you what, uh, since, uh, I'll let you go first. You let me yeah, go. I'll let you go first. Okay. Forward. I oh. will not hog everything. <laughs> yeah. Everyone seems to be, oh, why does Mike do it all the time? I said, well, this is such a... Uh, egomaniac? Egomaniac, yeah, yeah uh, exactly. Yeah. That's the one uh, I was looking for. Yeah. So, uh, my is obviously coming in third favourite, so it's my last. Yep. Of the top three. Yep. Um, of blue. It's actually a card... Well, it's banned. It's a leader's band. Yep. Because that will be Super Saiyan 3. Yep. Son Goku. Yep. And you look at that, yes, it is a nice foil. It is a nice foil. <laughs> yeah. So that would be like my, that's my third place. The, the thing is, if people was, don't know about it, um, because there is quite a few guys that have started in our community who are like, uh, why is this leader banned? Well, well uh, we, we've told them a bunch of stories on what people's builds used to be, and it just, it, it, it's a great, it's a great leader, or was a great it leader, is. should I say. Um, Still is in a way. Yeah. It'd be ridiculous now. And Especially with the amount of stuff. the counterplays and stuff. Yeah. Like it'd be ridiculously good. It'd be ridiculously good. Because if you just tap out offensively, then untap three for yeah. counterplays is... It was, it was a really good self-awakening sure. leader. You yeah, could, you could awake it in like turn two. Oh, I did once. Yeah. Oh, it's crazy. It's ridiculous. Um, basically, people don't know what a leader does. So on his unawakened side, yeah. Oh, there, there for it. Yep. No, 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 no. Come on. Not having it. It does. It doesn't matter. Anyway, you read the card. Unawakened side. You can't have permanent. You can't have more than six energy. Yep. So you can only go up to six. That's then stop. Uh, but it's at the beginning of turn. If you haven't charged, or if you don't charge, and you have no energy in your energy area, you get to discard a card from your hand and play the year. I played two life as ended it was inactive. It was ridiculous. It was, it the, was. It was the fact of that you could straight away two life strange ended. Yeah, it was two energy, and then if you had an objection in hand, you could ejection straight turn one. Three. Yeah, you could be three energies in the turn, turn one. one. And if you go first, well, you be yeah. crazy because you're not attacking. You going no. first, you've got three energy. No. And it you've was like got none. Yeah, and it, <laughs> the thing is with the game system at that time, with the format, you were never going ever. Six energy anyway. The, the uh, game. A few times I got to. A few times I managed to get to. Well, I mean because of the pace of, of what of people's pace, decks yeah. were. There was a lot of times that you didn't. You weren't worried the fact that you you only had to have like six. six. Yeah, it was fine. Um, but yeah, this this leader was ridiculous. There was that many different builds you could do for it. Oh, you you could do well, any build with it. My and, my and favorite run. My favorite build for this leader was actually the UI. So UI. It was that stuff that came out in the set that it was in. That I really liked playing it. Oh, UI was really nice. Yeah. Uh, pure blue deck. And I won a lot with it. I won a lot with that. Yeah. I didn't. I barely lost with it. And it, it was strong. It's obviously because we were strong. Yeah. Well, because I uh, awakened side when he attacks, draw a card. Yeah, that's fine. Um, like permanent still. Is. Still the same permanent card, more than six. But it's this end of turn one. Yeah. Auto. End of turn, you get to untap three energy. It was ridiculous. Any colour. So you could splash. Run this with anything. Yeah, you could do a multicolour deck with this and it wouldn't matter. Imagine if it was not banned when set four came out, still yeah. was a thing. Yeah. But oh, you, you could. You could that'd you, be dirty. Yeah. That'd be worse. That'd be dirty. You, you I could, think you strike as well. Yeah. You, you, up to that, yeah. You, you could do anything with it. You know, I, I did. 
blue red builds I did yellow blue it was just it was endless and especially I, I try to keep it pure blue yeah. just for the randomness of the energy yeah. of the first two light but it was the fact that I could have Nimbus and untap the yellow and untap yeah. the blue so it was like yeah, Nimbus and Nimbus on tap coercion yeah. tap out to offensive well, play man. and then untap the yeah. yellow to Nimbus and stuff oh yeah. no, no it's me uh, yeah, yeah. Um, um, so your number three. My my number three is is, is actually <laughs> the same, same one. Is Super Saiyan three Goku? It's just well, we've talked about we've it. We talk. It's you can't really say much more. Um, like no. I said, we we everyone who everyone did it at the time, everyone who was around in yeah. that sort of time, knew what it's about. You know, the reason that so. that this guy got banned anyway is because you. When we were looking in the US as well for like tournaments, yeah, the US, it was just, it was just, it was just all over the place. Like top it was, 16 at least were all Super Saiyan 3. Yeah, there'd be a lot Goku's. of representation on them. Yeah, so much representation. Really, on them. really. Um, I was and you didn't want to, you're pretty much mirror matching yeah, every game. And a lot of people said, yeah, a lot of people said that it shouldn't have been banned, it should have been just blue energy. Which would have made it a bit more fair, yeah, but still, it you still, still would have blue with someone else. And it yeah, still you, would have been broken. The thing is, be, because you had all the black stuff as well, you, yeah, you could have um, still used black negates yeah, and everything yeah. else, it wouldn't have mattered. And then, at the time, this was unyielding, was not limited to one at the time no. as well. So, so you, you had, you had four copies there. of unyielding. Oh, yeah. Straight and right. I think Flute at the time was still... Flute was still unlimited to unlimited. one, so that's what... That's, that, what, got that's, the, what, that's what got the ban on this yeah. and the limit on Flute yeah. until eventually the Flute yeah. got banned. Um, it, was just, it was just ridiculous. Um, so your... My second, second place Blue is a set two leader. All right, okay. So we're weirdly going back in time. Yeah. Set three well. for Universe for Super Saiyan 3. Um, so Goku Black... I, I know, well, obviously, when me and Matt first started this, when Goku Black got announced, he was like, I've yeah, got to make a Goku Black now. <laughs> I did, and I, to be honest, it, when I got my Goku Black, yeah. the game wasn't out in America. The no. game was only out in America, it wasn't out in the UK. No. We got it, I managed to get some from America. Yeah. Uh, I actually ordered a box of set two over. Yeah. And yeah, this was like when it was first released. And the, the thing is with Goku Black now is, is that there's it. there's still stuff that's coming out in the format that you can use with it. Yeah. There's new stuff, there's new Goku Black just stuff. Just all the downside set to your leader is Dende. Yeah. Because on his on awaken side you put one in, one part of your life into your energy. Yeah. And obviously that's playing energy through a skill for Dende yeah. every time and it's just yeah. annoying that you can't really use him anymore. Yeah, but it was great. It's it's nice that they still bring cards out for it to so, support him. Yeah, because the news is massive. Yeah, yeah. If if you went to a locals and you know someone's not really going to play you know, Dende. Dende that much, then you could you play it, crack it out again. Yeah, yeah I would instantly yeah. if I knew yeah. no viewers sideboard and Dende or playing them. Yeah, I'd crack him out. I'd crack that. Uh, so uh, your number two. My number two is actually Trunks. Uh, um, set two as well. Set two. Yeah, um, I love that Trunks. I could still play it today. There's still so viable. still viable. Oh, um, you know, if you don't know what the leader does, he basically um, a bit like Hercule in a sense, where you combo stuff, you get to draw a card. It was just amazing draw power for him. I took him to an event once uh, outside of here, and uh, the most popular thing for it was uh, Chain Zeno with him, oh. which is devastating. Because the thing no. is, thing is with the leader, because he draws I like really eight. Hate that the, well, that's why I played it outside and I didn't play it at locals. Because yeah. um, I, I wanted to, to do well. That's the reason uh, I don't play Victor's um, Dragon locals as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you don't know, obviously if you do the chain Zeno, you go back to five cards in the starting hand and so does your opponent. With Trunks, you could combo with something, um, draw a card. So you can combo the Zeno, even though it has no combo power. You draw, you awaken, you draw two because it's an old school leader. Um, so that's up to eight, and then you could do his effect. Again, combo, draw, so yeah. You, you go for a load, Andy swings as well, swing and draw. 
what I used to do is that I used to have like double strike champers in the deck and um, scientist foo and stuff like that. Oh, so I was like, scientist foo, yeah. I love that card. The fact that it was one energy, no one it's, it's, still, it's, still, seven, it's, yeah. it's still great. Um, but yeah, it was it's, it was a fun leader to use. You could it was primarily blue that I used to use with him. Um, but you, well, I say primarily it was blue and red, but. You, you could use other colours, you could go um, blue-yellow, you could still do that today. You could oh, still, with the blue-yellow multiple yeah. cards, you really could do it. You could do it. Um, so yeah, uh, Trunks yeah. was uh, my number two. So what's your number one? My number one... I'm I shouldn't really be surprised, surprised. Not a surprise to people locals. No. It is... Hirudigon. I like Hirudigon. He's very versatile. He is. And the fact I that... Ran, obviously, the deck profile, the deck I used to run with him, is on the channel yep. uh, a few yes. months ago. Yep. I did it before, I think, around when Set 5 was released. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. Yeah, around that time. Uh, or Clash of Fates theme boosters around that time. Yeah, I think uh, so. Because I managed to pull off a super rare Demigrat turn 3 play nice. with the deck. Because there wasn't too much you KO barrier, ignoring barrier yeah, yeah, at the yeah. time. Yeah. There wasn't too much stuff to kill barrier to cut. Yep. So I could play the two drop engine, uh, East Spring Kite. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So two up, two counters, and an engine. Yeah. Uh, so I could tap a four one power card. And I had enough black cards to just use card one, draw two. Yeah. I ran enough black cards that. I could, if I saw everything I wanted to, it was turn three demigrad. Yeah, and also the the, the I did it a couple of times. The super combo really helps. The super combo again is the same as Leo. Yeah, just got one, got two. So two. I was just guarding black cards all the time. Yeah. Every time I got black and there was I there wasn't that many super combos that did that at the time. No, because Broly wasn't out. No, the Broly Sardate wasn't out, so no. was there. he was the only one that drew you too. Yeah, because it was even before the Ultimate Box came out. Yeah, and, and that one's for Gods. Well, that's that's for Gods and specific. Universe Two. Yeah, only it was very yeah. specific. It's only one Universe Two leader, yeah. and there's a few God leaders, but it's not many. Yeah, well, there's not many that people really use. Goku Black, my number two, was a God. You could take me. Yeah, you could take me. Uh, but yeah. Poi, the super combo for Arugan can only be used in Arugan. It's a nice deck because it's like you can, it's quite competitive you can well. be quite aggro, but you can go quite hand destruction with it as well, can't you? Depending yeah. on your uh, deck that you want to build. And because the amount of black cards I didn't run over on, obviously, because I needed Dark Over on for Arugan. Yeah, uh, for Demigod, sorry. Uh, I ran most of the Silver Bullets. Yeah, but you, you go into it. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, obviously, Kronoa, No Escape from Goku, Dende, Kami. All those. They were all good. They're useful. And yeah, they drew, are. every time you played one, you drew a card. Yeah. That was the important part of it. You yeah. drew a card. So yeah, I got closer to seeing Demigrad, closer to seeing enough black cards to bring out Demigrad. Yeah. Seeing um, Supreme Kai as well, yeah. seeing enough of that to bring him out turns earlier. Really good. Yeah. Really good leader. I was terrified. So uh, I brought out Really did. Just need space. And um, your number one? My number one it is probably going to be a surprise, possibly. Um, the reason it's my number one, and it is Star Goku. The yeah. reason for it is that you can still play him today. He's still a good leader. It is. And he, he was the first one that I like played the most because obviously when Just I went to the state deck, set one yeah deck. when we first started it. when I first started collecting it I brought the starter decks you did. back and I, I brought boosters and stuff like that for us and I just played the, you know the crap out of it it was just like it's just so yeah, good. I was, playing, uh, I was playing Broly. And, and I, I actually him. took him I think it was the very first event we ever did here I took uh Start Goku, and everyone looked at me gone out. But I didn't come last. Uh, I took, I took Medical. Yeah. So I didn't uh, come last uh, either. Medical, I uh, beat you. Yeah, you beat me. Um, I think I was using tokens at the time. Yeah, you were using the um, the ghost tokens. Ghost tokens were. Um, the ghost and then yeah. Mass Saiyan got released on this, the day before, so people were using Mass Saiyan, which kind of bummed me out because then it was like tokens yeah. doesn't really. 
So, and it was, I'm not going to you know, bash about it, but it was kind of unfair for some people because I do not, it. not I everyone had yeah, yeah, I That's I, what I was saying that we should have just been like, it's not been out for a week, we can't run them. Yeah. But, other but at the time, like, we, where, weren't, where, where, we weren't where. running events no, at the time. No. So we just. Um, it was. Uh, either Rich or somebody outside it that we, you know, we had to try and get in contact with people. Yeah, and just you know. went just like, uh, yeah, it's fine, it's, it's fine. Um, but yeah, start of Goku, really good. I'd probably still try and make a deck out of him today. Um, I always use him for demo decks, because I think he's a really good leader. Yeah. Even though, yeah, he is the old starter leader, you can just splash in uh, some of the newer stuff in it, and it works really well. Uh, just make it mono blue it makes it really easy for someone to use so that was our red ones so we're going into How's that blue one oh, blue one sorry <laughs> now we're going to go into it's a red one. um so uh, obviously over to you first over to me first so again yeah i'm going to set one yep and it was the first this is your I first like, aggro leader wasn't first it? aggro leader and i managed to this is when um, obviously it was set one set two only and now that yeah, were it. Yeah. no expansions no nothing and games were going a while yeah i managed to get a turn three win with this guy and turn three wins weren't heard of at the time no. so and this leader is hit, hit. <laughs> from the very first set really interesting leader i'm quite glad now that we see more yeah. that we've got another variation of him yeah it's the not, yellow one's weird but, yeah the yellow one's weird but we do have another variation of him we have another one I but, still like that one though yeah he's good because he gets good. a 5k boost when he attacks yeah both sides yeah so he's still a 20k still, he's a 15k on awaken 20 awaken and yeah. he gets to get rid of a block blocker on his uh, awaken side which is quite nice yeah it is. So he can get rid especially, of especially at the time as he did win me a game once as well getting rid of a yeah, blocker yeah especially when people do use free blockers oh yeah uh, you know bouncing them back and stuff it's, it's really good um, I'll go into my <laughs> my pick interestingly enough so go on uh, I've gone for Champa um, I used to use Champa quite a bit uh, when like what Matt was saying with him when it got released yeah. he was using that and I used him quite a few times in different decks, and when Tournament of Power got released, I actually used the Maiden engine with him, it and a lot of people were like really surprised with it, because if you don't know the guys, uh, the Maiden engine is, so it was like primarily green. red and green. Um, primarily green. Yeah. Um, one of the Maidens was really, really good for it, which was called Kakunza. And she was basically a 20k crit. If you had the other maidens out, she had dual attack. Combined with Champa's awaken side, you could, and it was for the duration of the turn. So it's a permanent double strike Champa uh, on a 20k crit. So it forced people to either take crits or use negates, and, yeah, or use a combo. Power and most power. of the time, they were having negate it, and then yeah. other stuff used to come into play. Uh, obviously draw two leader like what uh, Matt's hit was because yeah. they're old school draw two so, um, so uh, I'll let Matt go into his uh, number, two. number two pick oh, number two is it's getting there he was going to be number one but I'm like I had a really bad week two weeks ago with him I was saying in a row with him oh, well, I don't even know how that's pretty bad yeah it's <laughs> pretty bad if no how it happened not rubbing salt in the woods that's pretty bad yeah, I don't even know, like I said, I don't know how it happened. Yeah. But I still like playing him. And he's new. King yeah, Jesus, King uh, from the new starter. Very interesting leader. He is interesting. You can only run the same battle cards. Yep. You can't awaken until you have 3NG and his extra cards on the board. Yep. Very specific. Very specific. Um, but also but, you can conserve your life a little bit. Yeah, but very fun. Oh, he is. Cause, uh, yeah, he just is. I really like him. Uh, Wake inside where you can just drop a two two or less skills blanked. Yeah. Just drop it for free and draw a card after that. Yeah. And, or you can get rid of one of your cards on the board. Right. Give him, make him 20k double strike himself. Yeah, I, I, I've got the leader. I've just like, not really looked at it myself. Um, it's one of them where I'd have to really think about the deck and get all the bells and whistles for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking um, I've gone back to the drawing board with him. Yeah. Maybe next week I'll have them. 
have back back to fully functioning. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah, deck profile uh, slash like game, maybe. Yeah, maybe. See how uh, the games go before I do a deck profile, though. Yeah. And your number two. My number two, uh, I actually have a little bit of uh, history with this guy because I, I, I still use him today. But I also used him in our uh, old school leader event. You did. And it was actually a toss between Champer and this guy, and I actually decided to make. Um, deck build with this and it was really really fun and that is the leader Babidi um, a bit like yours is quite well it's not specific but it has like specific cards for it yeah um, like these specific cards yeah. yeah like for instance you have to have the uh, the ball the like the margin boo ball yeah, you start with it on board you start with it on board and with King Vegeta down you yeah. have to get it out it's, 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 like, it's like with Metacool the Metacool you start yeah. with big get you start and the this. new set some Broly starts yeah. with his Dawn Legend yeah. um, what was interesting with the deck that I used to use with him was I used to use a burn deck and I think I came fourth in the event um, so I did quite well I got halfway up the table um, which is usually good for me you usually yeah, buy my table um, but the most funniest thing with it was is that because the new anniversary hit came out yeah you do now I used the I used that hit and I used the um, the lightning the lightning fast, fast hit set one super end. if my opponent had three life left you will I win basically um because hit takes two, and if you don't know what the ball does, the ball brings out a boo, and if the boo comes out, it auto one, auto one wound, but well, auto one life, should I say? Auto wound. wound auto wound. <laughs> I'm not playing 40k, damn it. No, 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 um, no. But yeah, it was. I still use it to this day. There's still a little odd combos that I've used with yeah. it. I, I like it. The one thing that's really funny about this uh, leader as well is that. You technically had a deadly defender before deadly defenders were made. You had the yeah. Devora. Yeah, because if Devora was actually going to attack, yeah. the leader. So I used, in one game, I had Devora and I had a deadly defender out. <laughs> so yeah, he had to. Attack it just them. it just stole them even more. Which they is, had to attack the deadly defender or the Devora, and then that were it. So it's still funny. No, it was. Uh, but yeah, that's my um, my second pick. Um, what is your number my one? My number one red leader is really it's Drafts of Box Two. Right. Okay. Uh, she was my first ever turn two victory and it twice in a row to, to be by it to Lee and Baker. Uh, All right. Okay. Monroe chest build. First, actually, the first time I met Lee, that was her first event. All right. And I beat turn two. Um, game one with um, Khalifa. Khalifa. Yeah. Really good leader. He is going to be a take life, everything, every non black card on your board gets 5k. Okay. Really good. Self awakening, really nice. And you could do it twice in one on your awakening turn. Yeah. You, I used to use Khalifa with a Ginyu bomb engine. Oh no. Is it, it, it gives, gives all Ginyu force oh. 5k? Yeah, it does. Uh, so. I mean, it, even if the, now the red Ginyu coming out with. Like, yeah, just drop another but it, 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 that was it. It was like it's just my opinion. And the thing is, that's red leader. You got a million bombs as well. We do now. Obviously, I've not brought her back yet. I really no. should re bring her and use her again. Yeah, for Some, for something. For something. But she was what. good because obviously you had stuff like fearless pan you could use yeah. her gives everything 5k double strike including her, her and then she gives another 5k, 5K. so everything's plus 10 apart from obviously yeah but like everything's there plus 10 yeah. double strikes yeah. was was actually a thing for one of them yeah that was really good really really good as it was just uh, yeah um, and your number one my number one is a deck i've played a couple of different variants of um one of them is actually a tournament deck that i don't play at locals but i probably will play um, in the European finals when we get there when we get there if I get the weekend uh, off if he gets the weekend off it's if not I'd probably still be going regardless and Should do. Matt yeah. will uh, will agree with this with this uh, leader and the deck that I use for this and it's Freezer um, Prison Freezer Prison Freezer everyone knows yeah. the majority of what people knows what it does mine's slightly different 
Um, I put certain cards in it that other people don't. You do. Um, I it has say, the I have, I have gone against it's it. gone against it. It's, it's not nice. No, no, I've not. played it against other people and it's not nice. No. Um, it's it's a fun deck to play. The other variant deck that I've got for it is really fun as well. I just like the fact that the leader can get me more extra cards and there's specific yeah. extra cards for that leader that is really they good they can't use in any other deck as well no really it has to be red, uh, a red freezer. freezer there is another is red it, freezer it's the swap one that I don't yeah. see people use no, no uh, it's the one that kind of has like the sensu beam type of effect yeah. it gets plus 5k which is alright but the one thing I, I, I love that effect anyway on the front side and also I get the my boring no. <laughs> um, it's not um, my fault. I get, I get the, the draw two, which is nice, a bit like an old school leader, so I can get more cards. But the one thing that I do like is that this leader doesn't have to attack to draw. No. I can just it's draw. It's activate main. I can just draw. And I also like it that it has a bit of the Bardock effect where you can pitch a freezer army card and negate an attack. You gotta do it once. But that one attack can really save your butt, especially when okay. someone goes, I'm gonna triple swing strike. you a triple strike. Okay, I'll use it, I'll pitch a card, freezer army, I'll negate it. And then I've, I've not had to waste anything. Even if I've got loads of negates in hand and I don't really wanna pitch it, um, I can use a, a freezer army battle card and then use something else to, to pitch for something else. So, um, it was really versatile, but the freezer prison thing is, is a thing. Yeah. Um, it is played. Um, you don't play the super right? Uh, what for the, the the freezer stuff? Yeah, for that um, game specific stuff. I have it in sideboard. Yeah, that's what makes it different. You don't actually run the prison and the super rare. So. No, I don't run the um, and the rare. rare main I don't run the secret rare in it. No, where some you people run it, the secret. Yeah. I could use <laughs> it if Matt wasn't using it, then I could use yeah. it. I just don't kind of see. There, there is a point of using it. I do agree with that. If you do see, you get it, you see it. Your hand yeah. yeah. Um, the fact that it would give me a different win con, but my main win con of the deck is pretty decent because everyone knows what the main win con of the deck does. But I have certain cards that are a bit different that support them quite well. Um, but I'm not going to give it to you. Um, you have <laughs> yeah. to stay tuned for more videos. Uh, yes, and please like, and share, and subscribe. Uh, as always, give that thumbs up. Um, yeah. Ring that bell. Uh, ring my bell. Ring your bell. <laughs> uh, but yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoy the video, guys. We're um, so yeah, that's our top five blue. Top and five. Uh, top three. Sorry. Top three. Uh, blue and for red. Blue and red. If you want to see the other colours. Maybe we'll do it. Uh, yeah, and if you maybe you want to see a game with one of the leaders, please let us know. Yeah, please let, like, let us know what you would like to see, see. face each other. One from mine, one or from, from Mike's. It can either be the blue or the red. Last name, red. Maybe not the SS3s. No, maybe not yeah, those. Uh, we don't really want an SS3 versus SS3. Cause no, because I know exactly what I'd do with it. Yeah, I know exactly what I'd do with it. Yeah, um, I think that'd be a bit unfair. Yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, um, if you would like to see other members uh, do, do this do this exact thing, same, same content, please uh, let us know. And we are going to do other colours as well. Yeah, we are. There's three more to do. Yeah, there is three more to do. But I think so, one or two at a time. Yeah, I think we'll, we might even leave the uh, black, black one to last. last to do yellow green next. Yellow green. Yeah. Yeah. Yellow green's an interesting one as well. This makes yellow to be so difficult. Be top three. Oh, God, yeah. So, um, I don't know what mine. It's quite, quite, quite interesting. Anyway, we're rambling. Yeah. Rambling. Stay tuned for the next videos, yeah. guys. And um, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. As I said before, the hashtag once a freak, always a freak. Hashtag semi savage. Most hashtag uh, worst cameraman ever. Yeah. Because he's not here. Last place camera. Hashtag dude. more content more coming content. soon. And we'll see you soon, guys. Bye. And yeah, bye, guys. Bye.